So today we've been looking closely at the cap of maintenance of the Black Prince, which was uh, given by the Prince at his death to hang next to his tomb that um, was on the south side of the Shrine of St. Thomas Becket. And this is an extra special object um, in many ways because of its uh, rarity. Nothing like this really survived from the 14th century. This looks very familiar in terms of the, the, de the degraded um, vermilion on the tester. So th this is all. But this would be very interesting. So, to look at this, um, what do you think? This do you think the white is the substrate? Mm, I love them. I'm here with my colleagues. There are four other disciplines here today, and one of them, uh, Yvette, is leather conservator. So she can help me when I don't know. When I get on the fringes of my expertise, she steps in, and together we can all look at the same object and come up with lots of new ideas. That's what we've been doing all morning. Yeah, I think the white is on top of the. Grey, this is, yeah. It's leather, moulded leather for the body and head and then that's covered with other materials and then these lozenges are put on are moulded leather, uh, embossed leather and they're diamond shaped and they're stuck on um, all over and then gilded. It look, does look like it's yeah. metal. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. I would... Um, that that's my, my initial yeah. assumption. Yeah. 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 It, it's, well, the it's basically the function is not unlike the canvas. Yeah. And it's, the shield's like that. The shield with yeah. Yeah. textile parchment and then the decorated leather on it. What's the role of the um, added linen? Because if you've already I think it's well, parchment, I think it's on. Um, it's coarser. I think so it's, it's on the seams. Mm -hmm. It's on the seams. It's. I think. Mm. Well, I don't again, know why, would, why would you have seams there? But that's what I. I that's why I find the. There's definitely stitching under here. You can see the stitch lines, yes. can't you? Yeah. A large part of the project will be to analyse the piece and um, to see if we can establish whether there are repairs in the piece or whether it is as it was constructed. And what we've been finding is that there's lots and lots of different little pieces and we've been trying to patch together the, the chronology of how this actually um, was put together in its time, but also how the, uh, the course of time has taken its toll on the object. The leather, because you can see it where it's flaking off here. Oh, no, that's definitely yeah. Yeah. There's been some up, um, previous repairs to the brim. I might have to do a little bit of reshaping this particular area where it's quite badly damaged. And the textile is really, it appears, used um, as an underlayer, as an understructure for the main decorative elements of the piece. Up here, is something that we're not quite sure what it is, but it's been repaired a few times and it's also more worn than anywhere else. And there was a suggestion that actually, I don't know if you can see this connection point, that the tail could be detached and come off. If you imagine that you had to travel with it or move it from one place to the other, this tail really does stick out. So it would be quite handy if you could take it off. And if I just suggest my hand here, you can see that it's in exactly this area, but it's more warm. I mean, I think looking at all these holes, it seems to me so much more likely that it had a life before. Yeah, that, that it, it wasn't to, a new... Yeah, that it wasn't I, I agree. And I wonder, I wouldn't go so far as to say that maybe even some of these other repairs could have been lifetime repairs. Well, it could be an indication that the achievements above the Black Princess Tester were indeed used by the time they were put up as achievements, they were his. It is an important point. Did they belong to him or were they made for the, the, for the funeral?